Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Popper Mill. We won the die roll. Uh, so, yeah, we missed last week playing this. I uh, had a couple other videos planned, so now we're back to it. Uh, we can keep this hand. Let's we'll see what we can do here. Let's see, do I have a stop at my upkeep? Yep, <laughs> always from Infect. We're playing against Samoan Thunder. Uh, let's see, we got a memory sleuth, no creatures yet. We got a thought scour. We might start with thought scour and just get a card draw going. We might uh you know what? Let's let's set up our turns here. We'll ponder. We'll ponder, we'll take a look at what we got going. Alright. We don't need like any of these really right now. I think I'm gonna say any order and shuffle. And we get a land, so that's cool. Uh didn't really want the rest of the islands since there was two in there or folk seeker keeper is fine but you know I, I don't want to draw two islands for the next two turns after that uh, of course we still drew an island but that's all right that's all right we're playing against the blossoming sands uh so let's take a further look into their deck mind sculpt it pop this out what do you got going yep we're mill I know the ponder might have thrown you off. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, 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 no. That's not going to be good for us. Uh, well, we hit a muscle, a predatory, and a sinew. Uh, so that's good. Ah, they're just dropping the sinew right away. They're probably scared that we've got some counter spells. Jace's Phantasm is pretty nice right now because we do need some way to combat this stuff. Uh, so we'll throw him down. We'll mill a couple more. Uh, I'm going to Thought Scour first, but we're going to make sure he gets buffed up. want to get that card draw. Oh boy, Slivers. Oh no, no, no. The tables have turned. Tome Scour. Alright, well we'll do that then. Why not? Hits... Another muscle. We're hitting all their... Ooh, this is Naya. This is Naya. Everybody's been playing it. So right now, we're going through the league. Uh, that'll finish up tomorrow, our last matchup. I'll discuss more of my thoughts on the league in Friday's uh, Sliver video, which will be just back to like the practice rooms and stuff like that. Um, I, have, I have some thoughts, but uh, I want you guys to watch the rest of the, the league before we go into it. But there's a reason that people are playing Naya Slivers right now. And this is my first time coming across it just uh, in the practice rooms, but we are keeping them at bay. Oh, that's great. That's great. We need that defense right now. So we could potentially try to go aggro and race. There's potential there. Hit him for five. We take potentially potentially six. Then we hit him for ten. It might be worth the risk. We're still gonna do our, our millin. But I, I think we might start get to get a little aggro. Uh that's a, a little bit risky uh against slivers, but I think we kinda have to race their clock a little bit. Uh, we'll hang on to this memory sleuth for now. We'll go like this. Swing for five. We'll flash back the dream twist at the end of their turn. We'll just make it seem like maybe we're holding on to a counter spell or something. Why not? Alright, well. Lead the stampede, winding away. One, two... Three, four, four, yeah, five, five lords. They will get out of range pretty fast. It's too bad they gained that one life from Blossoming Sands, because that just, you know, gives them one extra turn <laughs> if we are trying to race like this. So another defense is fine by me. Just waiting on that lord. They're going to lead the stampede, helping us mill. Uh, a few cards here. They hit four. Let's see what they revealed. 
All right, so blade back. Uh, I don't actually know what else has been revealed, so when did we reveal things already? I'm not sure. Uh, are they pass in turn? Or are they going to? Okay. And they will probably pass here. They don't want their lord getting eat up, eaten up for nothing. I'll just keep this on the side. Uh, yeah, I don't know what was actually technically revealed there, so my bad. We're like, okay, do we attack in? <laughs> Alright, they're just gonna pass. They got 25 cards left. It's nice. Turn off that just in case. I don't know if I click through anything. We'll do this. Flash it back. Keep bringing them down. Is there any way for us to really get hurt next turn? They drop two lords. We could get hit for 16. Hmm. Not 1612. Sorry. And they got a discard to hand size. Alright. 22 cards left. It's pretty good. Oh my gosh. This is the best hand for slivers right now. That is insane. They are not going to be happy with this third Jace's Phantasm. That's for sure. So it'll be interesting to see what they sideboard, what they have in their sideboard. If they have, like, reach creatures or anything. I'm not going to do the memory slo uh, sleuth. We've got lethal next turn. Um, so, aggro mill. Gotta love the Jace's Phantasms. What a dream. Muscle. Alright. So we can get rid of that one. And we'll go to game two. Alright. Very interesting. Echoing Truth seems good. Uh, Snap seems good. Curse seems great. Um, I'm not going to bring in Hydro Blast for their extra stuff. Uh, they're just random reds, blade back, stuff like that. I don't think I'm super worried about that. 62 cards. So what else? Drowner Initiate, probably. Take out a couple of those. Maybe a Ponder. Curse of Chain, Snap, Echoing Truth. We're just going to keep them at bay as much as possible. Yeah, alright. I can dig this. Um, let's see if we can get lucky again with another perfect Jace's Phantasm draw. <laughs> that is uh, that was, that was pretty lucky. I'm not going to lie. I'm sure you all know that. But we did mill him to like 20 cards at the end of it too, so we were racing that mill. This is interesting. I think it's pretty keepable though. We can start putting out blockers. One lander, start putting out blockers. Yep. That's fine. We'll draw into another land and we can curse their lords and stuff like that. Hopefully draw into some more uh, bounce spells. Bounce spells are really going to help us here. That's good. Don't play anything turn one. That's what we like to see. We've got the Jace's Phantasm already going. We're going to start venturing deeper now. And I'm going to turn down this music a little bit. Because uh, we want to be able to play this. They brought in Hunter Sliver. Or that might have just been their one Hunter Sliver, I should say. Predatory. So, I want to land. Ah, didn't get a land. That's unfortunate. Really want to land so I can play out my Merful Secret Keepers. But I think we're going to go venture deeper again. We're just going to set up to put down these blockers. And start staving off damage as soon as we draw that other land. We're hitting Viverlance, a Sinew, a Hunter. Not too bad. Not too bad. 
Yeah, I really, really would have liked to have gotten a land there to play this other Seeker Keeper. Hit me for two. What are you going to do after this? Ash Barons for red. Get down uh, striking or a hunter. Just a gem hide, okay. All right, give me land. There we go. That's perfect. Uh, nine cards in graveyard. We are going to mm, actually hold up. How do we want to do this? I could put a big block on them and put down Jace's Phantasm right now. Just go Tome Scour. Put it up here a little bit. Hmm. Do I want to just set up for blocks or do I want to start putting out the racer? I think I'll put out the race here. Uh, so we can start swinging in for him. Potentially. Like next turn we can drop secret keepers or chain something. We'll see. I'm curious to see what kind of... Uh, Removal. Maybe they've got Pyroblast. Could be set up for a Pyroblast on something, too. Ash Barons again. So you playing with a single mountain? Alright, he's grabbing planes. You could have a big turn here. Plated. Alright, that's fine. Gem Hide. Sure. Play another thing. And a winding way to refill. Alright. Planes. Alright, so they got... Viverland Bladeback Sidewinder. Not a big deal. So they're going to take their time setting up. Playback Sidewinder. Hmm. It's interesting. So do we want to start racing? I could play down the Secret Keepers this turn. Take a turn off of... Yeah, we can do that. We're going to play out our Secret Keepers. Swing in with Jace for a turn. Potentially try to race again. Potentially. Next turn we'll... I would like to see... Another island, maybe? So we can, like, Tome Scour or Curse of Change something. Curse of Change doesn't, like, stop the power-ups from the Lords, which is unfortunate, but it can at least tap something down. Well, they could definitely play out their hand this turn. Muscle, that's good for them. Uh, so now we don't have good blocks anymore from this Sidewinder they're about to drop. Yep. Sidewinder. Sidewinder is going to be our undoing. Viverlint. Blade back. You going to try to go Hellbent or are you going to start swinging in? Yep, they can swing in. We'll take the six, but we're really close to dead. They have 30 cards. Alright, we're taking the six. We'll go on chump blocking duty next turn. Another Merfolk Secret Keeper. So 
So we can mill him for another four, put him to 26, play out another secret keeper, block four things, take 12, we die. We could just play Merfolk, secret keeper. I think we're dead either way, honestly, here, which is unfortunate. Block four things, can't do anything else. Hmm. One, two. Curse of Chains, one thing. Block four. Take nine. I guess that's our best play. They played both of these. So nothing else is revealed. Well, we can survive one more turn. <laughs> Uh, but it's going to be pretty bad. Block three. No, we, we can't survive one more turn. No, we're just dead. It's all right. We'll go to game three. That's how Silver's runs. Uh, I still like this. I don't think we need to do anything different, really. Uh, maybe Curse of Tra Chains just isn't that great, and we want to... I take out a, I took out a ponder. I wanted to take out a. Um, where are they? A brainstorm is what I wanted to take out, not a ponder. All right, we'll we'll, we'll run it back how we have it. I think it's the best uh, sideboard plan we have for slivers. Uh, we'll play first. It's already a pretty flooded hand. Need to draw a lot of gas. Alright, we'll keep. I'm not exactly pleased with this keep. Uh, I would have liked to have seen one more spell or one more creature. Uh, minus one of these lands. We had a Sidewinder, Viverlin, we hit all creatures, which is good. Uh, definitely expecting to lose this one, but what better way to lose than against Slivers? Alright. So, we will just put out some blockers straight away, stave off any damage. We'll set up for a Memory Sleuth as well. We can hit him for extra two with Drowner Initiate, with all these extra islands. So we can go Mind Sculpt, hit him for an extra 2 mil, unless we draw like another creature or something, but... He's attacking in? I block. You got a Mutagenic Growth? Okay. Ponder. Yeah, let's, uh, let's Ponder. I'm down with that. Uh, we're going to choose here, say save targets, say no, say okay. Uh, yeah, I like, I like this. Um, let's see. So Mystic Sanctuary, Mind Sculpt, Secret Keeper, we'll draw the Secret Keeper, put him down. Wait, why did it put down Mind Sculpt? That was not the order I clicked them in. I definitely clicked Secret Keeper last. We should have been drawing a Secret Keeper here. I don't know why it played it out like that. Uh, that's been unfortunate. Why did it do that, I wonder? But okay. Uh, that's no big deal. We can still block everything if we need to. If we need to chump block with Drowner, it's fine. But... I don't know if I misclick on that or not. I'm going to have to do the old rewind on that to see if I actually click Secret Keeper as my last draw or not. But Or did I shuffle? Did I click yes on shuffle? And we just happened to draw a Mind Sculpt? Oh man, I hope I didn't. I hope I didn't do that. I hope I didn't mess up that ponder. That would be 
pretty unfortunate. Still not used to these ponders. I freaking just click through and I think that's what I did. I think I hit yes to shuffle. So he swings with both. Um, we'll block one. Flanking's not a big deal right now. Let's see, what did he reveal? Two lead the stampedes. Hunter, predatory, okay. 35 cards, yep, we definitely hit shuffle. That is a bit unfortunate. But we can do this at least. Say yes to that. We're going to save Memory Sleuth for our final turn to finish them off. So we pass, and we're going to take a little bit of damage. Definitely he's going to play this Predatory. Doesn't have his red mana yet. Mm, we could be in such better shape right now. And it pisses me off. I think I just threw that game with that thing. So played it into Predatory. Absolutely. You got it. Blocks are bad now. So do I want to chump block or do I want to take 12 for a turn or nine for a turn? Take nine, go to nine. Uh, no, I think we're going to chump block at this point. At least one thing. Yeah, we'll block with one. I'll keep the Drowner Initiate down just in case we draw a bunch of spells that we can potentially go off with. Uh, that's... That's good. That's good. That'll help us a little. Not a ton, though. We're at three Poisonous? Okay. It's just going to help us stave off damage at this point. <laughs> that is it. If this was Echoing Truth, it would be so gnarly. That's why I wanted Echoing Truth in the sideboard, just for like the sliver matchups where they've got a lot of the same creatures. Ugh. Can we even survive? I'm blocking one thing. No, we can't survive this anymore. <laughs> yeah, we are dead. I'm going to give him the GG. Yeah, we'll give him the GG. That's uh, that's all she wrote on that. We can mill him for two more, and and that's about it. So, we'll uh, we'll give him the, the satisfaction of swinging in here, and we will we'll do our blocks. We'll we'll just play it out. We'll see how this would all go down. Say okay, and we. Snap one of these. Yep. Say okay. Mill them for two more before they kill us completely. Bam. And then we take 12. <laughs> and we take exactly what they need. <laughs> Good game. Good game. That was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Seeing Mill go up against Sinew. Hey, we got the, off the the first one there against them. Um, and I really messed. I don't know if we could have still survived. We could have... Um, let's see. Well, we, won't, we wouldn't have known what we were drawing after the Mystic Sanctuary. But we could have milled them for four more. Uh, milled them for seven. Kept comboing off with the Drowner Initiate. Mystic Sanctuary, back the Mind Sculpt, and 
potentially survived one more turn. It would have been close. We would have gotten the mill quite a bit down. They would have been under 10 cards, like, for sure. Don't know if it would have been enough to finish them off, but... Um, unfortunate shuffle with the ponder just cost me the game. Which I've already done before, but <laughs> I barely play this deck as it is. <laughs> I've only played it as many times as you've seen. I don't practice a lot with it, so that's why I keep messing up these ponders. So my apologies, but hopefully you guys liked. Leave a comment below if you enjoyed seeing the matchup. Leave a like and subscribe for more Nia Slivers, more Mill, and maybe some more Infect on Thursday. And we will see you guys in the next video.